Bola Tinubu lost the February 25th presidential election, according to Babache Laura, a former secretary to the federal government, and Peter B of the Labour Party won. Tinubu was proclaimed the winner of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Furthermore, Tinubu was elected according to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. However, Babache Laura said in a statement on Tuesday that information from unaffiliated sources shows that Obi received the majority vote and that he could finish second in the pool. According to him, Bola Tinubu came a distant third in the number of votes scored. The statement partly read, I have resisted the temptation to engage in the contemporary political discourse since the May 2023 election. The February 2023 election passed. Please pardon me. I did this for two reasons. The first being that as an active player in the drama, I needed time to analyze and digest the data that led to the outcomes so I could arrive at an information decision. The second being that the rainy season had just set in and I needed to focus on my attention on my farms, which are the mainstream of my livelihood. The current typical issues for political discourse and inquiry are whether or not Bola Tinubu won the presidential election and or that he was qualified to participate in the election given his Mickey Biodata as is now being publicly unveiled daily in Nigeria. My answer to the first inquiry is that regardless of whatever INEC or appeal court said or did, Bola Tinubu did not win the election. Right from the start of the, of the campaign, Bola knew he was not going to win the election in a free and fair context, so he decided to go by all means. Available factual data has aggravated from several independent sources indicate that Obi got the majority vote while Atiku came second. Bola came a distant third in the number of votes scored. He urged the president to resign to prevent public humiliation and embarrassment. My answer to the second inquiry is that given the now unfolding the large of uncomplimentary information about who or what he is, ordinarily sand ethnics and morality should have convinced him to voluntarily excuse himself from participation in the election. But this, notwithstanding, I believe he still has time and opportunity to save himself this public humiliation and embarrassment to his person, both locally and internationally, by resigning, so that he can give more attention to his health. After all, no one knows about the, the, the tourism of these severely embarrassing and humiliating exposures about his person than the man himself. Leadership is all about integrity, sound pre-degree, trustworthiness, and the ability to unite and instill hope and confidence in the people one seek to lead. In these qualities, most Nigerians are in total agree agreement that Bola has them in a very short supply. Indeed, the statement added. Nigerians, like I always say, that the 2023 presidential election will continue to remain in the minds of Nigerians. Even the next 
decades to come. We still talk about it. Now, talking about, because he says something about integrity, is now advising President Bola Metinubu to resign. Una know about the issue of Chicago State University certificates that is still lingering up to now. That matter is still the grand though. Surprisingly, eh? Surprisingly, American media, they don't they carry the matter. One Nigerian president, Bola Metinubu, faked his certificate. You understand? All these things are not good names. They say he's forged. He forged his certificate. Now they are now seeing Nigerians as certificate forgers. Everybody now for Nigeria don't turn to certificate forgers. Make we just push aside the 2023 presidential election. We know Senai bring all this wala when they grant. Because if what happened during that election did not happen, Atiku Abubaka will not go further trying to, you know, let the world know that President Bola Metinubu cannot become Nigerian president and all that. Do you know that that single, that single fact that they say he forged the certificate has dent the image of Nigeria outside Nigeria? It's so, so, so embarrassing when they say a president forged the certificate. And if we hear some people talk, it doesn't matter. After all, the, the, the former president did not even go to secondary school, you can imagine. Now, compare the former president who did not go to secondary school, as they are saying, with other leaders who have ruled Nigeria. How Nigeria be since when he come out and when he day. And now, now, we don't enter another one. Like he said, you see, leadership, it goes with trustworthiness. Can Nigeria trust him again? That is another one. Integrity matters a lot. You understand? So when you speak, people listen to you. But when all these things are not there, you go talk as a leader. Your voice go be like paper. You not go whole water. You understand? Well, maybe see how Nigerian Supreme Court is going to deal with this matter because it's already before them. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for stopping by.